Okay, we're going to look at finding exact values for trig ratios with the cast rule. These are questions that are posed to you, like they are here in A and B, finding the sine, the cos of a tan of some angle. And it's based on looking at the two special triangles that we use in trig, which I've got labeled here in yellow, and the cast rule, which I've got laid out here in green. The first thing to do is look at your question and find the related angle in quad one. So 315 degrees I know is going to ride somewhere here in quad 4. I need to know the related angle in quad 1, and that is 45 degrees. If you're not sure how I figured that out, I know that this line here in our Cartesian plane is 360. I just figured out what do I have to subtract from 360 to get 315, and that's 45 degrees. And now that I have my angle in quad one, I can look to my two special triangles and figure out what the ratio is. I know that tan is opposite over, over adjacent. So if this is my focus angle here, opposite over adjacent is one over one, which really is one. So my ratio for tan of 45 is one. The last thing I have to do is check about if it's positive or negative. So tan of 315 in quad 4 is showing here to be positive. Well, I know based on the cast rule that only cosine in the fourth quadrant can be uh, positive. So that means that to make this look like it's positive, it would have had to have been negative. So the answer for tan of 315 is negative 1. And you can do a little check in your calculator. If you type into your calculator 315 tan, you're going to find that the answer is negative 1. So it's a nice little way to verify did you get the right answer. Okay. Second one, cosine of 330. So the first thing I'm doing is looking at what's the related angle to 330 degrees in the first quadrant. And that is 30 degrees. Then I go to my special triangles and I look at 30 degrees and if I label the sides opposite adjacent and hypotenuse, I need to find the two sides that make up the cosine ratio. That's adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 30 turns into root 3 over 2. And then the last thing that I do is try to determine if it's positive or negative. In the fourth quadrant, I can see here that cosine is positive. Since this is positive, my final answer is positive. And if I want to do a little check in my calculator, in my calculator I type in the cosine of 330 and I find that it is equal to 0 0.8660, a positive number. If I then type in root 3 divided by 2, I'll find out that it is as well the same thing. And so I know I have the right answer because all I'm doing is taking this kind of term that's written here and writing it just in a different way with a fraction. So these things are equal. I'm just using new skills to write it in a different way. And that's everything.